Hey guys, welcome to this week's Steam Culture. Hope you had a very Merry Christmas. We're gonna jump in this week and talk about the petrochemical industry, which creates a lot of products used in the plastic industry. Now, a lot of processes are used to create the base materials that plastics and plastic-related materials are made from. And one of them is a process called steam cracking, specifically cracking, which is exactly what it sounds like. So it's a chemical process where they bring in these raw materials known as feedstock. Some of the names are naphtha, ethene, and propene. If you're familiar with those, I am not familiar with those. But they bring them in and then they crack them, which means they take the hydrocarbons and break them down or crack them into something that's more useful so they can make other uh, plastics and solvents and things like that. Now, the process happens in a furnace, a large furnace. Now, those furnaces, as you can imagine, have lots of different variation, but they seem to revolve around the same principle. It's a large vessel, really large vessel, as you can see from these pictures. Inside the vessel, you have a set of tubes, and that is where the feedstock, or the ethene, the propene, and the naphtha come in, where it is diluted with steam that brings it up to a certain temperature. And below that, you have um, a large system of industrial burners that really, really crank the temperature up. While the steam cracking process is incredibly complicated and it requires a ton of energy, it happens in milliseconds, like a quarter of a second to a half a second, depending on what the producer is trying to achieve. But here's what happens. That feedstock, which is diluted with high temperature steam, around four to 600 degrees, comes into the tubes. And in that time, it's heated also by all those burners I talked about, the furnace at the bottom, blows up all that hot gas and air comes across those tubes, brings the whole system up to around 1600 degrees. The product comes through, like I said, in milliseconds, and then it's out the door. And at that time, the cracking has taken place. Well, there's another reason they dilute the feedstock with steam is that when you break down those hydrocarbons, it also forms carbon, which can get stuck on the tubes and all that in the steam stops that from forming. Well, if you didn't know about steam cracking, you do now because you watch Steam Culture. And it is very complicated and a very interesting process. So I'm going to encourage you to go out and Google steam cracking. While you're out there, I want to encourage you to Google us, find our content, watch it, because we do it for you each and every week. Thanks for joining me this week. Come back and see me next week on Steam Culture.